Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Microsoft Visual Basic tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about list boxes and how you can add contents to the list boxes, how you can compute within the list boxes, and how you can clear a list box. So let's get started. Among the common controls, you will going to find a list box. You can drag it and drop it on the form. Then we will going to drag and drop a button right underneath that. As I showed you in other tutorials before, that in the properties panel, if you scroll down, uh, you can probably organize them as categorized or alphabetically. Alphabetically, if you if that serves better. Uh, anyway, you can change the text to property of the button, and I'm changing mine to compute. Also, if you want it to be more readable, you can scroll up to the font and you can increase the font size and that will going to increase the font size on the button. Similarly, if I want to do the same thing for my list box, I can also check select my list box and increase its font size. Change the name of a list box. I can scroll up to the top and under name, I can give it a name. For example, I want to call it LSD results. Now, the moment I change it, it will show you the name. It will show you the name only in this mode, in the design mode. If I save the changes and run this, you will notice that while the application is running, the list results will not show in the list box. It will be empty. As we change the properties of list box and button, we can also change the property of the form. By simply clicking on the form, we can change its name or we can change its text. So if I want to change the text to numbers, and that will be the text that will appear in the title bar. Now let's double click on the button to write some code. What I would like to do here is that when I click on the button, I want some text to be written out to the list box. So I'll type the name of my list box, which is LSD results dot, and it has items, which is a built-in collection. It holds all the items that are held inside a list box, which I will now add. And this will allow you to add something to the list box. For example, just for now, I'm entering three in double quotes. Now let's run this to test. And as I click on compute, you will see the three written out in the box. Now it's also possible for you to write the number three as opposed to a string three. And apparently it will not going to make any difference when you click compute. The user, it doesn't really make any difference. However, what else you can do here? You can form calculations right within the list box. And it will show you the computed results when you click the button, like 3 plus 2 equals 5. Just like I can do addition, I can do do subtraction, I can do division. I can do all sorts of operations right within this box. So 3 minus, uh, see, 3 divided by 2. 3 times 2, 3 minus 2, all of these operations can be performed. Even I can go a little bit more complicated, such as I can do 3 times 2 plus 4. So I can add multiple operations as well. So now over here, since uh, 2 plus 4 is in the parentheses, the addition will take place first. And the multiplication will take place after. So 3 times 6, 18 should be the answer. So as I run this, and I click the compute, here you can check the answers here. 3 plus 2, 5. 3 divided by 2, 1.5. 3 times 2, 6. 3 minus 2, 1. And 3 times 6, 18. So here are the answers. However, ever every time I click the compute, it keeps pushing the same answers over and over again. So what I want to do next is that every time I click on the button, it should first clear all the contents and then should allow me to post the new answers. 
So in order to do that, what you need to do is you need to call the results dot items, collection items, and then you need to call the method clear. And that will allow you to clear the entire list. Let's run this. And now, as you see over here, as I, soon as I click compute, it shows me this. If I click compute again, previously it was over. It was just continuously pasting there. Now it clears it and then pastes it. So that's how you can use your list box in Visual Basic. And this is how you can add, you can add contents to it. This is how you can do computations within it. And this is how you can clear the contents as well. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.